Well, everybody's talking about this little skirmish. It's people coming out the woodworks. I got crackers and shit who are crackheads are supposed to be on the property. I can't show you crackhead. No, don't show me crackhead. I can't show you. My life is bleak toe up. I'm turning to one person because I'm a starving artist and I have no other way to survive without battling the trash man. <laughs> Now, trash man, I gave you an upgrade in two videos ago when I said, you're not the trash man no more. You're the trash compactor, trash, something, something I said about you. And I gave you props for being funny as a motherfucker. But this time, this video, I got to retract some statements. It would be fun and Danny to continue to fight you, but please, this fight is not only getting boring, it's not getting me anywhere. You've been gone a year, and you pick on the person that you believe in your mind is the biggest person that you can fight. I must be the shit if I'm the only one that you can try to battle. Is my son out there? Yeah. Is it? What's up, Junior? Front or back? So, I'm cool here at the compound with my white security guards and all my shit. My gangster thug heroes are all white, not black. I'm sorry. I don't believe in dirt falling on my own shoes. What you call a kingpin or mastermind? Those who can help me better myself without bringing attention to our organization are those I want around me. And I hate to have to say it, but niggas like you make me say the word niggas. That's a word that I don't use in my organization nor my followers or my people or whatever. I'm talking like I'm all that because I truly believe I'm nobody until somebody kills me. But I'm going to live forever. You think go get some more beer? We have all the smoke in the world. We have sack after sack <laughs> after sack after sack. <laughs> Don't do it. Oh yeah, it's like that must be one bag that time. <laughs> Shit. I do not advocate the use of marijuana for anything other than medical purposes. And even if you have a medical purpose, you don't sit here and smoke all day. So the false perception of somebody sitting around smoking all day and drinking all day is wrong. In reality, a lot of us do have a real life. And at this one time in my life, this one time, I'm not living up to a standard in which I set for myself. That is my only crime, my only flaw, my only wrongdoing. It's not that I'm not being real or true to myself. At this time in my life, there's no jobs out there for me that will let me continue to live. There is no respect out there for me on any job site by anybody of the same color in which I wear as my skin. Those handful of black people who do go to work, who don't scream nigga and bitch and talk shit constantly all day, those handful of people 
are the ones that suffer truly. You have to watch the stigma of white people trying to place you in a situation to where it's, you're going to do something ignorant or you're going to be black or you're going to be ignified and ignified or something that has to do ethnically with your background when you have to battle these white people constantly trying to make you black which is a color not a species or a being these people are trying to make you to be something and you go to work and you battle these people just to be you I can say a million things, a hundred things, a thousand things, a hundred million thousand things, but the moral of the story is this, I'm in some kind of battle or fight with a group of people from the porn industry. I have a confession to make. Earlier, when I first dwelled in the internet I couldn't sell my music anywhere and this is this one company out of New York that had a series of video cameras and strip clubs or what have you and I tried to get my music played in the backgrounds of their videos Two years after that, I found a small internet porn company, and I tried to get my music played in the background of their videos. Didn't work. I'm not sad that my music career never made it. I'm not hurt that my video editing career never made it. I'm not pitiful, shameful, or saddened because I'm struggling right now. But I am real. Those people out there who would love to put me on a pedestal and knock me down must understand one thing right now. I have not been placed on a pedestal. Don't try to knock me down before I get there. Don't try to take me off the top before I reach the peak. Don't try to shut me down or run from me because somebody else is making you scared. I'm supposed to be some super drunk. I built mountains. Please. Labor Day yesterday. <laughs> Let a fool be a fool. I don't drink that much. I don't smoke that much. And as much as people, as much as people talk, it's not like that. It hurts me to a point to believe that people can show videos with sexuality in them. And I edit the video. And I swear I counted, I counted too much time. I counted in that one video I pulled, the trash mix video. I counted eight seconds of nudity that is nine seconds too much I apologize once again for the 15th time and you've been tubed